Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick video, but I felt that somebody should talk about this because no one is talking about it. This is a Spy Point Link S Dark cellular trail camera. And I use this for watching coyotes, game trails. You guys all know what game cameras do. I won't bore you with that. But what I find annoying is that the little solar panel reservoir here, I'm hoping this will come out on camera. It gets moisture inside of it. Back of the solar panel, look at all those moisture droplets. This is inside a sealed camera. And the little 4,000 milliamp hour battery is just wet as can be. I've already been playing with it, trying to get this to shoot. Just perfect. I don't know if you can see all the moisture droplets inside this yellow film here that keeps this isolated. And what that does is, there's water droplets in there. It short circuits the little lithium ion battery and tells the camera that it is completely dead. And then it just sets in there. You bring it inside, you mess with it, um, and then if it dries back out, it takes off working great. I have had some success with a secondary camera sealing this with like an RTV black silicone, just sealing the heck out of it, sealing this little hole right here, squirting it down in there that goes into the camera. If water gets in there, you're probably not going to have a fun time, and these cameras are not cheap, so... Uh, no one is talking about this. I'm not trying to knock the company, but I'm using these in the field and I'm not having the best of results. I'm having to pull with them. I'm constantly messing with them. Quick note, this is after the video is actually finished. I just set them on a uh, air grate in the office here and just let the warm air slowly cook the moisture out of them and they seem to go back to working fine but this is a annoying step and you have little tiny screws to keep track of. So perhaps the solar powered cameras are not all they cracked up to be. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. These are usable, but I find myself kind of messing with them more than I think I should be. And uh, hopefully they could maybe do a redesign on this. I will call this the truth about spy point cameras. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.